guys, I'm in my kitchen and it's around 2, it's around 1.30 and I'm pretty late for my lunch. So now I'm gonna cook lunch for me and for today we have chicken curry. Went to the market, I got this flour and this pot. This was for 350 and this was for 250. Bar plus the mud. Um, altogether I got it for 550. Yeah. Hello. Sneak love. Keep repeating your affirmations and eventually your heart will catch up with your head. Um mm -hmm. So I'm getting ready for bed. Uh, I just finished having my dinner and did my skincare. So I'm gonna go to bed, but I'm gonna be reading this book. This is actually my cousin's book and she actually told me that this is kind of boring, but I just finished reading a very serious book that is um, The Alchemist and it was kind of like wisdom literature. So, so now I actually want to read uh, easy read and not so serious books and I think this is gonna be fun because I've seen this book everywhere and so yeah and tomorrow's gonna be a fun day because my father and my little brother is here in town they're here for some health checkup so I'm gonna visit them tomorrow and yeah tomorrow's gonna be a long fun day so now I'm gonna head to bed Hi guys so yesterday after claiming that I will sleep after reading that book I slept around 7 a.m. after reading one chapter of that book I did not feel like continuing the book so I don't know I got the urge of watching a vlog and then I turned on the vlog and I kept scrolling and I couldn't sleep till 7 a.m. Yeah, so I just woke up. It's, I guess, 2 p.m. Yeah, it's 2 p.m. And I didn't meet my dad and my little brother. They're already in the hospital. And I don't know, I feel so bad. But they didn't give me a call. So I feel so bad for not meeting them. But I will go and meet them. I'm having an apple because I'm super hungry. I have to get ready. I look so puffy because I just slept for seven hours. I slept for six hours and I don't know, I feel so puffy right now. But I have to get ready because I'm gonna give them a call and tell them that I'm coming. So my dad never called me back. I called him at 2 p.m. and it's 4.13, almost two hours, like more than two hours. And I think he's very busy, so I think I'm not gonna meet him today. So instead, I have some work. I'm gonna go out to a nearby hardware shop because um, I have cats and we have balconies, so... I want to use the balcony but we don't have net there so I want to get proof the balcony because we're in like third floor so my cats won't fall off the balcony so I have to net proof that and I'm like cat proof the balcony so we're gonna go and ready to go meet him and my little brother I'm very excited to meet my little brother and yeah I did not get the balcony car uh, I did not get the balcony cat proofed because he didn't have all the items I'm done getting dressed up so this is the fit I'm 
this is what I'll be wearing. Simple. I'm excited to meet my. I'm super excited to meet my little brother. I'm gonna show you guys. He's a very cute little one. And yeah, now I'm gonna book an Uber. I'm going there with my cousin sister because it might get dark while coming back. So I don't wanna be alone. Yeah, for safety purpose. And okay, I'll meet you guys there. I'll meet you guys there. Bye bye. So I recently placed an order for a study table from Amazon and it has arrived today so I'm gonna unbox it with you guys. I'm super excited but also nervous because I don't think so I'm gonna be able to fix this alone. But let me try. So yesterday I couldn't assemble the table because I didn't have screwdriver So I ordered it from Plinket because I'm super lazy to go down to get it from actual market So this is what it looks like This was for $1.49 and it has 5 sets of screws so. I'm done arranging my table and it looks so pretty but I don't know is it because I did it all myself I don't trust this table right now but I think I did a pretty amazing work because yeah I think this is really well assembled and it's really big look my laptop looks so small in this table so I'm super happy this was for 2500 Gaslit his way to full custody when he doesn't even give your daughter the time. I'm watching you. I mean, not you, the series you. Uh, I just, I just destroyed my nail, nail polish. Like many things you know for me to not have too much discipline i almost think it's empty advice to tell someone they need to have discipline in their life because that fails to explain what it means to have a productive and healthy level of discipline but so I'm going to surgery to get some clothes because I I want some new clothes. Plus also I need to sell some clothes to earn money, like extra cash. 
and my cousin will be accompanying me so now i'm gonna get ready it's what's the time it's 4 p.m so i think it's a very good time to go because it's sunny but not that hot so i'm not gonna sweat much yeah. because i don't have anything important to do let me show you guys my fit properly i'm wearing a very comfortable tee today because i'm gonna be shopping i'm gonna be thrifting and like i have to walk a lot in Sarojini. that's why Now we're gonna have no no we're gonna shower and then we're gonna have dinner. Bye bye. I was just journaling and today is 31st of August and this month passed by so fast. Like I didn't even realize it. Tomorrow is September and tomorrow is Sunday and on Monday I have a shoot with an upcoming visual art management like production something I don't know they are called two creators two guys create something like that I'm gonna put it here and I have never done a photo shoot before and so I'm very I'm feeling very uncomfortable and anxious to do that but I have to push past my comfort zone and I think then I will grow and I was just watching a vlog from my favorite youtuber and even she was talking about moving past um, your comfort zone and then I was like this is literally a sign because I was actually thinking about cancelling it because I feel too anxious and when there's any upcoming program or work that I have to do it makes me feel like giving up everything i don't know this is a very bad side of me but i always feel like that um, i'm moving to paris and sometimes i think about that decision and i really 